sir, what are your comments about the women representation in the automobile industry? We have seen records like 20 to 70 percent ratios and uh, 20 to 80 percent ratios and maximum of automobile companies. So how are we as an industry trying to improve that gender diversity? So if you go back into the history of the automotive industry, it was really a male dominated, at least in India. Overseas, it's a different kind of a concept. But if you come to fast forward to the present, you have many companies where uh, the whole workforce is women. Second, in a lot of the technical functions now, you're actually seeing women. The previous director of ARIA was also a woman. Uh, the next president of ACMA is going to be a woman. So if you see companies are consciously taking steps to increase the number of women across all functions of the sector. If you look at the automotive dealer, se dealer segment, you they have a women in dealerships program and they also have a lot of women dealers and women in the dealerships. Right. So you are seeing four very distinct trends. First, companies and the earliest in this was actually Bosch. They had internal targets of going to X percentage of women in the workforce, not because of gender diversity, because there is actually hardcore data that shows that the greater percentage of women in the organization, it has an impact on greater profitability, greater social acceptance, and also the overall culture in the company. The second thing that you are seeing is that people are seeing 100% shop floor as women coming in. The third greater number of engineering students, if you look at JCB, one of the top, you know, she is very famous. It started at NSDC when I was there, but she is a very good welder. So women in hard places also you're coming up. The fourth kind, you're seeing greater women leaders coming up. And the fifth that you're looking at is that organizations actually, for example, FADA are looking at women and ACMA are looking at women in leadership positions. Hopefully soon you'll see a woman SIM president also. So uh, one very important question right here. Uh, there are a lot of educated women coming up. The ratio of education in women and men have become almost equal now. Despite that, there's a you know a long gap between the women in industry as compared to in the education sector. What are the challenges do you think that are actually up making this thing? So the if you look at the greater issue of the women in the workforce, and if you look at the recent uh, G20 declaration, they have actually there's a full section on gender and women there. So the first thing, the challenging thing is that when you have women in the workforce, you need to look at care facilities and other facilities integrated into the work area, freshers and other things. The second area is that you need to look at transportation and the whole safety of the environment where you have women in the workforce. The third uh, area that is very important is how do you build a full pipeline of women in the workforce, not restricting them to the one particular job, but enabling uh, progression, enabling training, retraining, and others go going forward. And very interestingly, you see the Delhi High Court has also talked about, is the whole thing of maternity and paternity leave, right? They're saying mandate paternity leave. So how do you balance work-life environment uh, going uh, forward? And finally, uh, you know, if you look at it, you have to demonstrate and talk about leadership in this way. How do you position your company, your industry, your sector as creating the whole environment for enabling women to participate?